Hello there. Today I'm gonna teach you how to write the beans with NetBeans IDE 7.4. You're gonna learn how to install NetBeans, how to change the dim to your preferred dim color, and how to print a simple message to your screen or console using NetBeans IDE 7.4. So let's get started. So we're gonna go to netbeans.org, the website, to download the latest IDE installation file. In the download section, you're going to see many options from Java SE, C++, HTML5, and PHP. You pick the package you want to install. In this case, we're going to pick the NetBeans and Java SDK package. It's a bundle package. So here we're going to pick the type of operating system we have in our machine. In my case, I have Windows 64-bit, so I'm going to get NetBeans and Java SDK 64-bit. Once that gets downloaded, I'm going to start to install the file on my machine. Pretty straightforward, the installation package is going to ask you a couple of question. questions. I'm going to hit next, then you're going to choose where you want the Java SDK installed. And make sure you remember where this installation folder is so for future installation you can pick it in case you need another if you need a software that requires Java SDK um, it's gonna ask you where you want to install NetBeans package and then you just hit install this process is just gonna take a couple seconds you can go for a coffee um, eat it treat the maladies and then come back. Once that's done, you're gonna be able to start writing software. Take a couple minutes, starting the required files for the for this installation, NetBeans seven point four. I'm just fast forwarding some steps and your machine could take a longer than this video. So that's done. We're gonna go ahead and run the installation file. NetBeans, yeah. Everything seems to be working fine. Let's go ahead and create a new project, Java application. Let's go ahead and call it See hello world seems that to be already existing. Let's write a new hello world. Let's write a new hello world message. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna change this awful headache background editor. Um let's, we go to the options. We got the fonts and colors, and what we want to install is a new thing for the font, the editor of this program. So we're gonna go to netbeansdeems.com. One that I like is Monokai Remix. All right, let me show you around. There's a bunch of options. Um, we're gonna get Monokai Remix downloaded in our in our computer. 
then import the dim settings to NetBeans 7.4 so we can start developing without getting a headache. So I pick the file, go ahead, OK. Then you pick only font and colors. You don't want to pick anything else because it can mess up your your the settings of your editor. Now once that's done, it's going to restart NetBeans. And now, once you restart it, you can pick Monokeramix. Change the fonts, change the font size. I like consolas, press OK. And now you can start writing. Look at that, that's so beautiful. It looks like candy. And it's candy for your eyes, folks. This is going to be great. And you can start writing. Writing some system.out print ln print line we're gonna pass a string which is gonna be our message new hello world using netbean 7.4 once that's done we're gonna run our project and we'll see our message come out in the console there you go new hello world using NetBeans 7.4 so you learn how to install NetBeans how to change the theme and how to print in your screen a simple new hello world message thank you so much see you soon